welcome welcome outfit number one on my camping trip is a little dress we're going into the city to have breakfast and I thought an artsy little dress was perfect. I saw this at Saks and I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Did a little tie belt just because that's what the dress at Saks had. And the dress at Saks was only $450. Um, and I'm going to town for breakfast. So we'll go to the table and I'll show you how I did it. Easy and simple. The dress took me about an hour and a half to make. I love it. It's so comfortable. Obviously, what could be not comfortable about it? Anyway, let's go to the table. Okay, so just like in cooking, we have ingredients. And our ingredients are pattern 600, fabric 5524. This is a fabric made in India. I love it. From the first inception of this fabric, I just thought this is just the most beautiful fabric I've ever seen. I absolutely love it. I love the piecing. I love the work. Um, you know, it's kind of like somebody took all this time to put it together and I get to benefit. So I am crazy about it. Okay, so let's talk about how we did what I did. So let's start first start with this inspiration of the dress I saw. Love this dress. Thought it was just so cute, casual, exactly what I would use, wear to like a little art show or just something really simple and casual. I just love it. Cool. 100% cotton is what this is. So perfect for summertime and what I'm doing. So I'm just starting with two pieces because what the first thing I wanted to do, and when you look at this dress that was my inspiration, I just felt like it was almost choking her. So I really wanted to lower the neckline a little bit. So we'll go through that process. So there's just two pieces. I made a, a kimono sleeve and that I did by, I've done this for you many times, but let's just do it briefly. You just fold the sleeve in half. You take the front, you lap the seam allowance right there and you angle it to where you gap the bottom. So right here is a little bit of a lap of the seam allowance and down here at the armhole you can see there's a little bit of a gap. Then all you do at the bottom is just bridge this with a little circle. So it's not a lot, it's just enough to give you um, a little bit of movement. You do the exact same in the back. I always do the front first and then I use that piece to create the same curve in the front that I use in the back. So that's all you're doing is you're just creating this one. How long you decide to do it is up to you. I wanted a cuff. So from this point, from the neckline point down to this point right here, from here down to the sleeve point, I made it 16. Then I rolled up five so that I could make um, like a, a band here. There's a little band right there that cuffs up. Okay, so that's how it, I've got a little cuff on this. But that's a, a completely your option. It, I think it's cute either way if you decide to do it sleeveless. I think it's adorable sleeveless. I just wanted a little bit of coverage. So the greatest thing about sewing is it's so much fun to just do whatever you want to do and you make it all about you. In sewing, that's the time I make it all about me. All right, so I did the sleeve. Then with the V-neck, I wanted that. So I used my favorite V-neck. Mine went from 15 down to the V. I put 15 up here and, and created it down here. Um, and then I used a little navy fold over elastic. And that fold over elastic, it doesn't have, I only made it one inch less than my total neck edge. And the reason I did that is you want a little bit of tension, but you don't want a lot because it's a woven fabric and you don't really, you're not stretching this on, you just don't want it to ripple. So make it a little bit smaller, give it a little bit of tension, one inch works great. Measure your total neckline measure your fold over elastic and make it one inch less and then quarter the neckline, quarter the elastic and just sew it on. And then when I got to the V, um, you have to do the little dart at the, at the middle. And I've showed you that so many times, just a little dart. So the dart, the widest point of the dart is up here. It tapers to nothing right there. And my front seam, it, while it was on the fold, because when I did the pattern work, I put the front on the fold and the back on the fold. So this is classic pullover, um, this is the, the blouse, but I wanted it in a pullover to where I could just follow that example. I just made it so simple. So there's no front or center front seam, there's no center back seam. It's just easy, okay? <laughs> so, so simple. I'm, I'm probably leaving stuff out, it's that simple. But it's just, you know, add the kimono sleeve, make it a V-neck, sew it front to back, Create the neckline you want. This, this, I think this dress, what I like it so much is it's 
kind of off the beat of the pattern. I made it, um, what I did is I put the pattern on the fabric and I went lengthwise because this is only 45 inches long. I used two yards and I decided to go lengthwise. So I put my shoulder, my neck edge point right up at the top and I just cut and added the length. What it did is it added, I think it was about 20 inches onto the bottom, but I'm tall and I wanted it to be knee length. So there's so many other options you could do. So I cut it there, put it on the fold and cut the other piece and did the same. So I used two yards of fabric. When I went to create the belt, um, I just used again from selvage to selvage and I just made you know I, I had to have two lengths it's center back I wanted the seam at center back I know that sounds really silly because you don't really need that because your seams all over the place but I wanted the seam at center back so I cut two of them and then because that was too long just depend on how long you needed it because that was too long I cut off each side because I wanted the seam at the center back. Now that I say that to you, it sounds ridiculous because who would know where the seam is? <laughs> but I wanted the seam at center back. Okay, so um, two yards of fabric. You're gonna make a kimono. You're gonna center front is a fold, but I did put the fold at a seam on the fabric. And that way it could kind of match up when I was doing the V-neck, the little V. Gosh, there's so many necklines you could use. I thought about doing a square. I thought a square would be really cute. There's so many options here. The, the back do the same thing. So when I sewed it, I sewed the darts. Then I sewed this, the shoulder seams and did the neckline. I did the side seams. I rolled up and made my roll on my fabrics, which mine's coming down. I probably should tack it a little bit just so that it stays in place. And then I did my hem. And it's just easy. And now I'm ready for my camping trip. Garment number one, we got a few more coming, and the goal is to have happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.